to Loki and Gaming. Hopefully your lovely lady luck here is not going to get me into too much trouble with the nice people on YouTube. But we figured that for the final day of the Steam Summer Cell, you might like to visit an arcade. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off with a stacker machine here. You may be wondering why there are stars assigned to these machines. And the reason is that you have to play these machines in order. Mm, a lot of people did not like that in the reviews. They would have rather just had a open arcade to go in and play. Um, but I've noticed that with these arcade developers, they seem to like that as a gimmick. But let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so as you can see, I'm gonna have to try to stack here. And may the gods of good timing be nicer to me than that. Okay, so that wasn't too good. Okay, so let's try another coin here. Um, but I like all the ambiance here. You've got those like little lights beside it. You've got the uh, kind of disco light ambiance going on. Nice carpeting. Just all the lighting and the just design of the machine itself I enjoy. This is not pancake, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. And I can't walk and chew gum at the same time, so if I get quiet on these machines, I'm not ignoring you. Oh, so close. Okay, let's try one more time. I want you to see the fireworks if it's possible. Okay, guys, wish me good luck thoughts. Wait, is it going to let me go again? No, okay. I think it was. How are you guys doing? Did you enjoy the cell? Have we got everything you wanted? Woohoo! Yes! Yeah! Oh my gosh, I can still go. Oh no. Okay, that was good enough. Whoa. Oh, okay. But if you're better than I am, you can get to those two stores. Um, what you need to do is you have to unlock these. And I'm gonna hit menu here. So it shows you I got one store. So I've already done the work of unlocking all of these. As you can see, there are two empty slots here, so I tried to coax them into uh, maybe filling those slots for us. Okay, so you can see there's like little, I guess those are our celebration cannons down there. Um, this is entirely luck on the slam it. <laughs> it helps if I put my hand in the right location. Okay, so... We're just gonna hit this and pray because the physics are wonky. Okay, so as you can see down in the corner, we're gonna need to hit 200. Come on, Asmodeus, be with us! No. Oh, you get quite a few um, coins, but this is one of the more challenging machines. As you can see, the gods just are not smelling all day. The gods, like you were saying, where does she find all these games? Actually, there aren't that many arcade games. Not compared to, like, say, spooky games or cooking games or something like that. It's not, um... Genre, there's a lot of, but I will tell you what, this is really hard compared to the one in Parahead Arcade. This is a really hard and unforgiving ball drop. The comma drop is a lot more forgiving. It's five balls for one thing, and you just keep going forever. Here, you only have a set amount of coins, which kind of adds to the challenge, I guess. Sometimes you don't want it to add to the challenge. No, I'm doing so bad. You're really going to have to to hit a couple lucky bounces on this one. I have not figured out a way to get it to 
like on the comet drop on Pierhead Arcade, that once you figure out the timing in that, you can get a pretty high score. With this, it just seems to be pure luck. Those bounces are pretty cool. I like the overall feel of this one. The light is a, a tad, a tad bright. But, you know, I'm photosensitive too, so it's just my, just my teammate. But yeah, we, we scooped this up. I actually was, I was looking for a casino and I found this. It's actually listed as a type of casino. So it looks like I won't get the red 61. I'm not going to get anywhere near the 200 we need, but yeah, your, your hand does have to be in the right place. You're not walking and chewing gum at the same time here, but hand does have to be in the right place. Okay, and you really do need a lucky bounce. I, there might be a trick to this. There might be. I wouldn't know it. I would assume the bounces are truly random. Ooh. So at least it gave me another bounce. And I got five whole points. <laughs> but I do like this. I don't know if you guys are hearing that thump 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 thump, but yeah. Usually this machine, I found it took a while to, to warm up. It took me about an hour and 45 minutes to um, unlock all the games. Oh no. Oh hey! It just it, it added on the coins, so I'm okay. So, if you do a village idiot move like I just did and you put the coin in while you're still playing, this game thankfully covers for that, so that's good. I, I, I swear, I'm like chewing gum. And I'm trying to walk, and I'm, I'm falling off the sidewalk, but I'm trying, guys. I swear I'm trying. <laughs> I got meow back here. Um, it's late at night. Loki was excited. He wanted me to try to get this done for the next morning, and it's past midnight. And my brain shut down about two hours ago. This is fun. Okay, yeah, you see I got 117. There's I'm not going to get anything at all. Uh-oh. Okay, so there is also a whole dozer here. Um, I'm going to not maybe play all these the whole way through because they are, as you can see, that is quite a stack of chips there. So I'm just going to give you kind of the, the feel of the rest of these. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is try to move that over. And you can see there is something on the side there that you can use to guesstimate this. Oh, just blow it. You get a good stack of chips for a reason. It's, it's really hard for me to judge these when I first start out. high but you know um it's it's a free not a free game but once you've got the game really they just keep giving you chips so oh just below okay and now i'm getting impatient welcome to be in an arcade with me this is how i get in real life too My parents used to have to yell at me as a child when they would take me to Cape May to settle down or take me to Atlantic City to settle down and to stop shaking. I would get so excited I would actually start to shake all over the whole wall. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is about playing these kind of games. I can't. Ta-da! So. I'll take a swat at one more for you guys. As you can see, I got a 60. And you can see, 
I don't know if it's, it's possible for you guys to see, but that stack of chips is indeed going down. Let's try for 25. Okay, I think I was a little above. Um, I lack depth perception, so I don't know what it looks like to you guys, but I just... I don't have it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna back out of this, but you got to see one of the towels drop, so you get the idea. It is pretty challenging for me. It's the hardest one for me. So, we that. And... Oh, the coin pusher is my favorite. Okay, this is still in the alpha phase. Um, I don't know that they're going to do any more work on this game. And we will put this up for um, pretty early. We'll try to put it up pretty early for you guys. But do you see those two gold stars in there? Well, we're going to try to feed chips into this and see if we can get them to draw. I'm just going to let you see the money stack up a tiny bit. Um, it's pretty good. There is only... Uh, I got the other one. I got one that's just a coin pusher game. And there is one more title out there that has coin pushers in it on Steam. That's about it. Um, and Pure Hit Arcade. Okay, so there's like three other ones besides this. My apologies. But these are some of my favorite games. So there are coin pushers. In Pure Hard Arcade 2, there's a coin pusher, and then there's a room of coin pushers. Um, but that's VR. For desktop, there is this. There is a coin pusher that is pretty basic, kind of retro 80s graphics. And there's a more expensive one that has all the fancy graphics and more machines. But it seems to be kind of in an off stage itself. This one's, you know, just pocket change even after the sale, so I thought you guys might enjoy seeing something like this. Sometimes it's fun just to pick up some machines and just have something to play. I really love the feeling of this. This is my favorite. That art really takes me back. It reminds me of what stuff looked like at the um, Atlantic City. You'd go to the boardwalk and you play all the machines. This really takes me back. This is my favorite. I think they did the best job on this. I hope I'm not hurting their feelings. This, this might be the devs least favorite machine, but this is my favorite. So shout out to the devs on this one. I really like this one. So as you can see, it is spilling coins. I'm gonna put one more coin in here. I'm gonna walk you guys on. But that is my favorite. Well, that coin was a bad drop. Here. <laughs> this is why I don't gamble. I would just sit here and feed, feed coins into this for hours on end. And you could probably play it almost forever if, if you start getting some lucky um, drops. And you get... Um... The stars don't fall, but then if the stars did fall to gold stars, can you see them? Um, you could just begin again, that's all. I like this with the graphic of all the stars falling on the screen, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to hit menu again. So it's going to tell me you got zero stars. I would like to see that just be an option, have that be called the rear path and then just have the casual. Um, these tables, I'm gonna warn you, I'm really bad at table football. Um, I'm just gonna do simple controls. I am bad at table football. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, great. I just scored a goal against myself. I'm such an idiot. No. 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 Where'd it go? Okay, it went off the table. At least it didn't go. Yes! That was dumb luck. Oh god, this is so hard. How do people play this? No! That AI is pretty good. I'll give it credit. No! 
You stupid goalie! Okay. I'm actually the stupid goalie. I sh ah! I shot at my own net. No! No! Okay, we're going to something else. I just scored two two goals against myself. <laughs> it's humiliating. Oh, God. Oh, you guys tend in to see me fail, don't you? Okay, so here is what I actually got it for. They got a claw machine. They got the claw machine. Okay, I'm gonna let it zoom in all the way and see if it's gonna let me play that way. Um, I got way too excited. It started playing it before it zoomed in all the way in. Let me see if it's gonna do... Oh yeah! Okay, so, um, as you can see, you can use your little side screen there. I left depth perception, guys, so I'm sorry about this. But I'm using my arrow keys and I'm using my space bar. Um, seems to be infinite number of points so far. And it lets you keep finessing on this, which I like. So if you're not happy with it, you can just kind of move it around. I like the music. I like the lights. Um, this could use... I think this could use... I'm not trying to discourage it, devs. I think this could use a little more polish. Like, um... Just, you know how everything else was finished out? If the devs do see this. Um, this machine itself is great, and I love that side thing. I see why they have it playing so you don't get too distracted, but just, you know... Just to make it clear, like, it's part of the casino. Like, maybe a plant or something. I mean, the, the thing, the marquee back there is great. But it just feels like it needs one little more thing. It feels like it's, like, almost off, off on its own. So <laughs> you can see it was bad as this is like in real life. Oh, people that have these in their stores love me because I will waste so much money. Oh yes, I am so bad. But I do lack depth perception, so that's the reason I can't try. True story. Okay, let's try one more. One more. Oh, I hit him! Come on, come on, come on, come on! No! <laughs> okay, let's go after him one more time. Okay, guys, I really lack depth perception. Think good thoughts. Think good thoughts. Oh, no, I'm way behind him. Okay. All right, but I think you guys get the idea. Um, These are fun. It's a book change, I think. Even a full price. I don't know. I can leak really over. But yeah, I thought you guys might enjoy getting to see these and Loki wanted you to be able to see them. Last day of the sale, that's not a Loki hint, just, you know, to share something with you guys. We like dragging you into casinos and arcades and all the other cool spots. A couple theme parks, we actually got a couple theme parks, so, you know, you never know what we're gonna bring you. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.